In this video you're about to watch, I've been given permission by one of my really cool clients, Neelam, to share a little training video that I put together with her um, when she got to a point in her membership site build and she just got a bit stuck. So I went through steps with her to really clarify questions that she had and she's given permission for me to share this with you, which will likely really help you as well uh, get to a completed membership site. So Neelam, thank you very much. And for everyone who watches this video, enjoy. So in Wishlist, in here in Wishlist, what we want to do then is set it up to, we want to make sure that there's a membership level set up for your membership group. Okay. okay that's the core thing that you do to start. And mm -hmm. we'll also want to integrate it, so integration with money. Okay. Okay, so they're the two main things that we need to do here, okay, just mm -hmm. to get started. Yep. So let's look at, yep. at, at the membership levels. In this mm -hmm. scenario, which one are we talking about? The gift wrapping course? Which one? Um, yeah, if we start with the gift wrapping one. Okay, so gift wrapping course or gift wrapping courses? Oh, have I got two? Yes, you have. Um, I, I didn't realise. One was created in February, one was, oh no, one was created September, one was created October. Um, can I? I'm going to have a quick look which one's which, Jamie. Okay. Um, gift wrapping courses. So, what page are you on in manage in membership levels? Okay, one minute. But the way to know this is to go into one of the actual pages. Let's do that now, shall we? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Yeah. So which one of the pages will be protected by your membership course? Which one? Um, just, just give me one as an example. How to gift wrap a bask how to gift wrap a, a standard box. Okay, so I'll just um, I'll search for box. Just, Hold if, on. if you just go on how do you search for it? I just at the top right, see up here, at the oh, top right okay. there's a search up here. So I've just typed yeah, in box. Yeah. Mm-hmm. None of them say how to. It says gift wrap like a professional. Boxes, 11 videos. It's in draft. That's, a, yeah. This one? Is that in draft? Yes, it is. Oh, aren't they published? That one's not. It says author Jamie, but that's, no, that's not. That means none of them, I haven't, I haven't published any of them, have I? No, so that's probably, if you're wondering why it wasn't working, that's probably why. <laughs> Let's go check, shall we? Let's just check. Let's just do it. Let's just do a check. Yeah, go. So, mm -hmm. now, so I can see that you're using lead player. Good. And you've got this. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Which, which then to your videos are in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. What we'll do is we'll just change the status here to published. Oh, no. Hold on. Save draft. Publish immediately. Oh, no. I've just got the button here to click publish. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I'll do that in a second. Parent. Okay. It's fine to have no parent. The template, instead of the members one content secured, you need the members one content WL for wishlist. Oh, okay. Okay, that's the template that you need to use for wishlist. Okay. What does free mean then? It doesn't, don't worry about the free, because free digital okay. access pass or wishlist. So that's the wishlist right. one. So you just okay, have to use... Okay, that's where I got confused. Okay, so that's the one you have to use for wishlist. Okay. okay. So that would be for all of those videos. Correct. For every one that you want okay. to have under your membership site, that's the one you choose. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Especially yep. the content pages. If it was a, if it was like a category page, then you mm. would pick the, um, the module one here, the module. But every one you pick would be WL. It would be the WL one, while you're using okay. Wishlist. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. That's wish list. Now let's scroll down here. And the other thing I'd be looking for as I come down here is the wish list member here. Yeah. Okay, down here. Wish list member. Mm -hmm. Yes, protect this content. Members only. Good. And then you have mm -hmm. to pick which one of the groups you want to be able to see this page. Okay, because okay, you haven't picked any groups here. So let's mm. assume that we're going to go for gift wrapping course. Let's just go with that one. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I tick that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, pay user access no. Okay, and then that's all I need to do. So I have to pick okay. the course, and that course, of course, came from this one. Go for wrapping course. It's that one. 
off the membership yes. levels. And it's in order. See, it's in order there, and it's in order on this. It's the same order here. Okay. So it's that one we want. And what we can do over time, by the way, is delete all the rest of these out to tidy it up if you want, if you're not using yeah, them. Yes, so I was thinking that, yeah. Okay, because yeah. you can mm -hmm. quite easily create extra ones like you have, and then it gets a bit confusing. Mm. So gift wrapping course, I've chosen. Protection, yes. So, yeah, sorry, so how um, do we know that videos in gift wrapping course and not gift wrapping courses? Because I've ticked the gift wrapping course only here. Here, this. Okay. This is this is okay. where it allocates it in, this tick in here. Oh, so it's going to allocate it into the... Okay. Correct. I get it now. So then when yeah, people log in, only those who are in the gift wrapping course will be able to see yeah. this page. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Great. So now I'm going to press publish on this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now that is published. And so peop only people who are in the gift wrapping course could actually see that page. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that means yeah. when you create a menu, then mm -hmm. from a menu perspective, people who are logged in would only actually, they might see the menu, but they wouldn't be able to get to the content, or we can hide oh. the menu depending on what levels they are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Have you actually seen, seen have you done a preview? I'm, I'm going to just click view page now. Oh, okay. I'll be able to see it because I'm logged in as an admin, so I'll be able to see any yeah. page. Okay. So here is the page now. This is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. And then these videos are all... What do you think all... of it? Is it clean? Like... What I would probably do, mm -hmm. to be honest, is I would... I would probably have each one of these videos on their own page. Okay. And have a, have a sentence just explaining what the video is covering. Mm -hmm. so that people know what to get and then I'd probably have this page as a module page which would then list all of them in a like a content yes okay and then they'll click on it and then they go and watch the to have that many videos on one page is a little bit too much I would I would separate okay. these out into individual pages okay mm -hmm. and I can make the video bigger as well then can't I no leave the videos the same don't worry about the video size. video size mm -hmm. is fine um, okay. It's just more there's so many videos, it'd be like it's a tiny bit of overwhelm. All right. So um, I, I think uh, if you had these with a... Um, or you could even have a content page like my Fast Track does where I have like here's the 10 steps and I give like a paragraph for each step and then a click here for the video. Mm. Mm -hmm. If you had that and okay. say there's 11 videos in the boxes section, I'll talk you through mm -hmm. them now and you can click on whichever one you want. So with the gift yeah. wrapper standard box, if, you, if you're normal mm -hmm. with boxes like in a rectangle shape, click here and watch the video. Maybe you've yeah. got a square ended box, which are these types of things, click here. Or maybe you've got some leftover paper and you're wondering what to do with it. Then here's some mm. clever ways on how to do it, Okay. etc. And then you just explain. Mm. Yeah, and then because that would help people navigate your site and know what they're getting. Yeah, okay. That would be a really good way to do it. And Great. then that page itself would be, it's it would be the same page hmm. here, but instead of having all your videos, you just have text in here explaining it with then a link to each of the pages. Yeah, and then so all I do then is just um, create another page with single videos on there. Correct. So if I just do that single now, pages. so as an example, I'll do add a new page. And let's say that I'm going to say gift wrapper standard box. So I'll just copy that. And I'd put that as the name of this page. Okay. And I can take this yeah. video as well from here. Uh, oh, okay. I'll just I copy that, that and I'll just post, put that in here. But what I do mm. is in this video, you'll learn how to wrap a standard box, which will cover um, most wrapping scenarios for you. <laughs> okay, as an example. Okay. okay. I go to template and I want members one content WL. Oh, yes. Yeah. And then I go mm -hmm. down here and I say, yes, protect it. So it's already protected as default, which is good. And now I want mm. the gift wrapping course. Yeah. Okay. And then I publish mm -hmm. that. Okay. Actually, what I'd probably do is 
I would have that under the parent of boxes 11 videos. Oh, oh yeah. So it does the nested properly. Hmm. Yeah, and I press publish. Yeah. Because then it's just easier to, from a navigation perspective, as you go. Yeah. Okay. Now I'd go back to this page. I'd I'd refresh this page. Just I just press refresh on the page because now it will recognize the new page that we've just created. Yeah. Okay. And then I can say um, overview of this of box wrapping. And then paragraph goes here mm. to explain these videos. Yeah. And then video one, gift wrapper standard box. Okay. In this video, you'll learn XXX, mm -hmm. XXX, click here to watch. Mm -hmm. Gift wrap a standard box. Now if we highlight that like this and then if we go link yeah insert yep, a link yep. and then existing content click here okay and this shows mm. recent items and guess what that's the one we've just created so it's at the top. Oh. So okay. I click on that. That's good. And then I click add link and it's done. And now That was the only thing I was worried about thinking I've got to put all the links in. No you just but if you do it after you've just done it and just build this press yes. update but uh -huh. remember you have to refresh this page because it won't recognize the new page this new page you have to build and save and then you have to go back yeah. and refresh this page otherwise it won't find it because it doesn't update okay. itself like so because mm -hmm. I, I before I did that and I naturally came over here and refreshed this page before then I went looking for that link okay does that make sense yeah yeah okay now I go and view that page and then, okay, overview of box wrapping. In this video, you learn blah, blah, blah. Click here. Okay. And then it takes me to the gift wrapper here. And by the way, when okay. you then start putting them like this, they're going to start appearing down the left as well mm. on the menu automatically when you've nested it under the right one. That's a parent-child yeah. relationship. Brilliant. Okay, and there's your video. And that looks really nice now. That's really clean. Yeah, it is, yeah. Okay, and then Great. people can get back by clicking here, and then they go back up a level. Okay, mm -hmm. and here they are, and this is the overview page. And when okay. you've nested them all as well, it would list them all down here as well, so they can see all the different videos. Mm. And then the menu just dynamically creates for you. Yeah. Great. Okay, so that's how you do that. So from a... What we've got here is... Uh, Ensure that people only have access to the course they paid for. Okay? So, yeah. we're assuming now we've started building this based around this gift wrapping course here. Yes. This one. Okay. Now, yeah. what we want to do here next, let's, if we look at the list, it's, well, how do I get people to register for this one? Yeah. And see this URL here? Mm -hmm. It's this. Oh, okay. So this URL, if someone clicks on this, mm. I'll show you. If I, if I just click on this button, copy the URL, if I click on this, copy. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, I assume that worked. And if I paste that, I'll go to a different browser. If mm -hmm. I paste that in here, see that's the URL. If I press enter, it will mm. flick through and it'll do some clever things. And then it will give me a registration page. Oh. new member registration so you need to f new member please complete this and then you're going to get automatic access to the course okay so if I type Jamie test hmm. Jamie test Jamie at Jamie McKean my password if I can spell properly <laughs> and then submit registration <laughs> Okay, what will happen is that it will automatically... Oh, it's already in our database. Okay, all right, thank you. Because mm. probably because I'm the administrator. Okay, <laughs> page you begin at the Profit Partnership. And Jamie, Jamie, submit. And it will now automatically register me. Okay, 
and then mm. it will redirect me now to the course and now it takes me to the login page here okay but it oh, says okay. I'm logged in here see welcome Jamie it's logged me in already mm. now what what we need to do now what's not done but that answers the question mm. what that does is this URL is what you would have in the thank you for paying email click on here to register okay. yourself yeah okay, okay. But one step sorry, before, I... before that Go sorry on. is mm -hmm. when we do integration with PayPal properly when yeah, okay. PayPal recognizes money's gone in it will send people to that URL and they will automatically get oh, okay. the registration page in front of them as soon as they've paid mm -hmm. which is what we okay. need to do next in the integration so you don't actually <laughs> send them an email that's yeah. how it would happen okay great we'll get there and we'll get there in a minute though now yeah for this if I click on this one here this yeah. shows me the details of this one okay mm. and what we have to do here is after login and after registration we want to mm -hmm. send them to a page mm. okay and for as an example for fast track I send everyone to the start here page okay because my start here page says welcome to fast track yes yeah? yeah so you need to create a welcome page or a start here page mm -hmm. maybe well you've got welcome there so let's do welcome I don't know mm -hmm. what's in the welcome but let's do welcome <laughs> okay and then let's press mm. save so anytime anyone logs in from here they're gonna go to yeah. the welcome page okay now if I go back here and do log out And then I log in here. Jamie test. This should send me to the welcome page. There's the welcome page. Okay, I don't need Flash Player by the way for this. Mm -hmm. You've you said here that I need Flash Player for the video. I don't. Okay, so um, it's not Flash Player, is it? No, it's it's you've got lead player built in so it doesn't need flash and it will work on every device so you can just take a, you could just say please okay. press play on the video to to see my welcome okay if you can see me mm -hmm. behind all the presents <laughs> my little head <laughs> exactly right <laughs> that that is me not a mannequin at the back um but but that and see so now I've logged in it takes me to the welcome Brilliant. and then because and of course you're going to change the look and feel of these menus to be the same type of colors as you read which will fit really nice when you do the colors but okay. see that it only shows me this one because I'm only allowed to see what's in the menu I'm only allowed mm. to see what what pages okay. I'm authorized to see and it's only showing me the ones on here okay so if I wanted um you know the other courses that I do, the creative ones, if I wanted them in the menu so they actually can click on the menu but it would say um, you are not registered for this course, it's like a bit of an incentive. Can I do that? Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. And that is inside of the settings of Wishlist Member in here. Mm -hmm. And um, protection defaults it's in one of these I can never remember where it is because it's a I, okay. I look for it on a regular basis let me just have a look let's see if it's mm -hmm. protection only show content for each membership level so it's that one and this one when I when I hover yeah. over I think it's no here if I say no hmm. if I do no there and press save and then if I go back to this one if that's done the right thing, there should be a lot more on this menu. Mm. See, there you go, all the menus appeared. See? Okay. And now if I click on so now, this, let, let, yeah. let's try it. Let's try it. Yeah, I was going to say you could This should click now on that. say, well, that, well, whether that page actually exists, I don't know. Which one of these pages do exist, so I know? Um, they, they all exist. Well, no, because some of them were draft. So which one do we know that is? Oh, okay. Uh, the only um, the, the most, I think all the videos are draft then all those pages I didn't realize they're not published yet okay well let's go and publish one of them um, let's okay. go back to the pages um, yeah that's probably one of your big problems that they were they were on see they're all draft 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 yeah. draft let me let me publish this go one on quickly. to that one yeah, yeah so chocolate, chocolate bouquets, bouquets. Mm -hmm. okay now it's draft 
Mm-hmm. I'm going to change it to the right one, so free WL. Yeah. Okay. And by the way, you can mass do that. You can mass edit them if you need mm-hmm. to just move them all over quickly. So yes, it's protected. Okay. I'll leave off the membership like this. Yeah. Okay, and I'm going to just do publish for now, so chocolate bouquets. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let me go to the chocolate bouquet page. Just wait, I'm just waiting for it to, there you go, okay. Let me just refresh this page. Okay, chocolate bouquets is here. Mm. See, now this says, oops, you do not have the correct privileges to access this content. Yeah. And there's a, what you can actually do is edit this page. Please upgrade your membership okay. level. And so click here to go to the sales page. Click here to pick what courses you want to buy. Mm. Or you'd have mm-hmm. different words than that, but you can edit this. And yeah. you can set it up so it's still got your header and menu down the side. All right. And how do I edit these pages? Because these are the pages I can never find. Yeah, so this is the, the, the pages that are called... There's pages that are called Oops Wrong Membership. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> That's what that's so the, many of them. <laughs> yeah, but just go have a okay. look and tweak that's one of fine. them, and you'll find the right one. Um, okay. There's 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 a few of them because um, wishlist members set it up as part of the setup, and I've got because see there's four membership cancelled, and four mm. oops members. I think you've probably set this up three or four times trying to go through the um, yeah setup for a membership using yeah. the um, wizard, and it sets these up mm. automatically. Okay. Oops, wrong so membership I can level. Some of them. Yeah, yeah, delete some of them. But you can go find out which okay. one. Hmm. Um, because when you go to wishlist member in the settings, hmm. system pages in here, it says mm-hmm. wrong membership level, oops, wrong membership level. And it's that fourth one in a row. See that? Okay. But you go, hmm. go through and rename the pages so you know which one it is and then find it and then edit it. Okay. So I'll just rename the page underneath. Let me just show you. Oops, wrong membership Sorry. level. No, it's all right. Quick edit. Um, I'm going to call oh, that okay. JM. Okay, and it's actually number four. Main parent, default template. So I'm actually going to say content free WL. Yeah. Okay. Okay, mm. and then I'm going to say update. Okay. Okay, so that's oops, membership level JM that we're going to now look. See, it says JM there. So I'm going to yeah. refresh this page any page you have to refresh if you're working on it mm. and then membership level oops wrong membership level see there's three of them there's the JM one yeah okay so it was already on the JM one so if I go mm-hmm. back to this one and then click chocolate bouquets oh no actually I'm admin on that page excuse me ignore me let me refresh this page which is oop wrong membership level number four now see it comes in here and it's got the heading across the top and the, the menus. Yeah. So now straight away, and it's got the name here, so you want to you wanna change the name. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, but then you can put the words in here. Okay, great. Okay. Mm-hmm. And the heading as well, you need to put a header, the header up there as well. And that's just editing that page. Mm-hmm. Which, um, oops, wrong membership level, JM. If I go to edit... Members content, parent, and down in the membership settings down here, launch pages, membership options here, membership general options, show header. That's the one you want. There. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then if I click save on that, update. And that, I'll just wait for that to finish from it goes blue and it's done. Okay. Now, if I go back to this and if I refresh this page, I should have a header across the top. There you go. Okay, great. See, so that's what you're after, but you just need to change the content of that. Click here to learn more about the course and how to get access or something like that. Yeah, okay. And then just put them onto a sales page or something. Yeah. Yes, exactly right. Okay. So now going great. back to wish list, so what we've covered there... We've covered the registration page mm. because we're going to give them that link, the registration URL. Yeah. I have to offer a username and password manually. No, you don't because you'd give them the URL no. and you'd give them via the PayPal success. Okay. okay. And 
you know when they put their username and pa um, password in do i can i see their username and password in in the you can see the username office? yeah let's let's go have a look so if we go to members here dashboard settings members mm. if you go in here there's jamie there's neelam there's neelam there's wesem neelam and jamie test mm. so that's what i've okay. just set up here and you mm. can also you could click on this person here and then yeah. with a select an action, move them to a different group, cancel them, confirm, unconfirm, turn off or delete them. You can do all of those things. Okay. Hmm. okay. Yeah. Hmm. So that's how you manage your members on the membership page. You can also add a new member manually by clicking the add new member here. Yeah. And then that will give you this and it says well, what you want to register them to. Okay. And then when you type in, and press add it will email the person their credentials and the link to log in yeah yeah okay but you don't need to do that once you do the integration properly so let's do you want to look at the integration mm -hmm. now yeah please okay so we'll move on to integration and what we want to do here is so you've got shopping cart autoresponder and webinar integrations so what mm. you're wanting to do you use aweber aweber and paypal Yes. So shopping cart, we want to look at PayPal. There's all these mm -hmm. choices, but you want to look at PayPal. And yeah. autoresponder, we're going to look at Aweber. And you've got the Aweber API, and it looks like you've connected it here. And then the gift wrapping course, you can pick one of the lists. Oh, okay. I didn't yeah. realize it was there. Because your Aweber is connected. Yeah. So you can pick which list to say, when they join the gift wrapping course, join them to this uh -huh. list. Okay. So you'd have a list in Aweber called new members, new gift wrapping members. Mm. And then you'd, mm -hmm. you'd, you'd create the autoresponder emails. Number one would be, hey, welcome to the course. It's yeah. great to see that you're inside. And when you log in, you'll go to this page and you'll have a look around. And there's videos. You just press the video, watch it. Yeah. Any questions at all, just hit reply. Okay. And yeah. then a week later, so when... sorry, I'd say a week later, I had another email which yeah. says, Hey, just checking in to see how you found it. If you've got any questions at all, just let me know. Just to try and build up the um, yeah. happy customers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, you had a question? Yeah. So um, when I go into Aweb and create a new list for people who, for new members, that will automatically update my wish list as well. It will appear here. And then you yeah. just, what happens is that when someone signs up to the gift wrapping uh -huh. course, wish list yeah. will automatically add them to that list in Aweber. Okay, that's oh. fine. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then when you update it and you come back here, the new list will appear here and you can select it. Okay. Okay. Great. So that's that's the email mm -hmm. integration, autoresponder. Yeah. So going back to shopping cart, PayPal. So it says, and the steps that have to be followed here with the PayPal integration, have you done these steps? No, no you haven't. Um, I've because I, I can see it's missing. I thought, uh, yeah, because you know, wishlist member, they're saying something new about PayPal. What you just need to do with this is you just need uh -huh. to follow these steps. So it says in these five steps, configure PayPal settings. Mm -hmm. So what it says, I've, I've go on. Sorry, no, go on. I was, was going to say I've I've done that, um, but it keeps saying API. I need integration. So every time I log into Aweber, it says something at the top about PayPal. Nothing um, to do with Aweber. This is nothing to do with Aweber. This is just PayPal. Oh, okay. Sorry. You know when I no, I tried to. Oh, okay. I tried to integrate Aweber with no, PayPal. No, okay, yeah. this is different. This it is. is it yeah. is. Yeah. So what what happens wish is Wishlist does everything in the middle. So mm. someone will buy from PayPal, and PayPal will send a message to Wishlist, and Wishlist okay. will add them to the membership site. Wishlist will add them to Aweber. Mm. So Wishlist sits in the middle and does all the all the um. The middle stuff. Back and yeah. Chewing and frying. Yeah. yeah. So you just need <laughs> to follow it. the wish list instructions. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know what I, I understand what you've said and what you've done, which is yeah. why you've got confused. Just yeah. focus these steps. So step one, follow this for wish for PayPal. Just for PayPal. Mm -hmm. Follow these steps. Yeah. Step two, put your token in here. Step mm -hmm. three, it says create a buy now button or subscribe button and then you and it says what to do with the ID, so you'd be picking this one. The gift wrapping course? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then you follow these. And then 
you put this in the advanced variables field in PayPal and it shows you where to yeah. do that. Okay. Okay. And then what you mm. do is then you put the, the, the PayPal button on your website. Mm. And then when someone buys, it will automatically then send the message to Wishlist. Mm. Wishlist will then say, thanks very much. And it will redirect them to the... So there's a success URL in PayPal. Okay. When successful, yeah. where do we send them? Mm. Okay. And what you do is you send them to this URL here, the registration URL. Yeah. And it, so yeah. Wishlist, PayPal says, someone's paid. And Wishlist says, great. Here's the registration mm. page. And PayPal mm. sends them to the registration page. They register. Yeah. And then when they register for the course, Wishlist sends their details to Aweber as well. And then Aweber will mm. send them welcome emails. Yeah. But Wishlist yeah. will also send an email which says, mm -hmm. here's your login, here's your password, and here's the link to log in. Okay. To them automatically. Correct. Okay. That's good. So it just does it all for you. Yeah, because when I together. sleep, I have to keep worrying about people. They say they're going to order in the evening and then I have to run down in the morning. That There's an email saying, oh, where's my password and username? This does it all automatically. That's the whole point of this. Fabulous. It does it all for you and you can sleep like a baby. My first automation. Yay. Yeah, well, let's get it done first. But yay, that's I was exactly going to say, right. I better get it done first yeah. in the morning. And then the login is fine. <laughs> the login pages, that's it's basically in their email then, the link. Mm -hmm. Okay. Set up a page that I emailed to, so that is done automatically. Set up pages because PayPal redirects them automatically. Uh -huh. And the money, yeah. PayPal integration and page, that's that registration page that I've talked about. Okay. Okay. Perfect. And then what I would do if I was you is just delete the other ones for now until you're yeah, ready. Yeah, I'll, I'll have a look at them. Um, mm -hmm. but, but just focus on that one. And then you have to, what, what you will, actually what we could do right now, if we go to manage content, let me mm. show you a way to mass manage content. Select the membership level we want to manage, but we will see it says post pages comments up here. So we want to go pages because mm. you've set it up as pages, which is the right way to do it. Or select content protection. So we want to do content protection. Mm. And then for all these pages here, all the ones that would be in the gift wrapping course, which yeah. one? Which one would it be? Which which ones? <coughs> It'd be um, gift. Um, where have they gone? Gift wrapper, standard box, boxes. Oh well, that's it. You you just need to create the rest now, just, don't you? Just. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I'll leave it as is. I won't do that then. So we don't need to do that okay. now. Um, but mm. let me go back to the pages one to help you on the other one, because what we wanted mm. to do is make sure it was the right template, didn't okay. we? So what we want to yeah. do is we want to highlight all of these. And there's three pages. So I'll just do this page first. Bulk actions. Edit. I want to apply that. Okay. And it's got all of those pages and the template. I want to do that one. Oh, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. And I'd probably say also, let's just say publish it them all as well. Just yeah. to get them all published so you don't get stuck on that one. So I don't have to do individually, yeah. that's fine. <laughs> okay, yeah. we click update. Definitely. Remember though, while this is published, well now it's mm. got the wish list, now it'll be protected. Okay. Okay, so we click mm. update. And now all of those on that page are done. Mm -hmm. We go to page two and do the same. Pair template, that one published. Mm -hmm. And then the last one is page three. That's just a quick way to do it, but you now need to work through each one of the individual ones. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and just make sure they are right, but we've just done the 80-20 rule that most of them are now done for you. And okay. And the important thing is to make sure that you get the right parent from the parent-child relationship. Mm-hmm. Okay, because then it'll do the menus for you automatically. Yeah. And then it's it's with you then to finish off, and it's it should all be perfect. <laughs>